have to say, all of us here at Bremont are incredibly proud of what NIMS has achieved. It's very, very humbling indeed to have summited those 14, 8,000 meter peaks in record time. It's certainly something we're not going to see in our lifetime and probably quite a few lifetimes to come. To take these watches of ours up to these extreme environments um, was testing in a, in, in a way that you could never have achieved in the laboratory and it only seemed fit to try and produce a watch based on the back of this. The materials that are uh, not only robust and uh, very, very durable, but also but that had a bit of a um, connection to the military as well. So we've brought in bronze for the first time, we're using titaniums, and you've got a beautifully uh, regulated chronometer movement with this new blue dial. And altogether, it makes for a very, very, very special watch, limited to uh, 300 pieces. So this watch here is quite dear to our hearts. Dear because it's based on the first watch we ever did, the very first, which was the Alt 1C. So this is a new addition to the range, it's called the Alt 1C Griffin. The name comes from the latter stages of Rolls-Royce engines in used in some of the very early aircraft like the Spitfire. Um, but also it's dear because our father ended up restoring a Spitfire in the mid-90s, which had this very engine in it. The watch itself, again, is inspired by some of these, these cockpits from the 1940s. So you've got this vintage loom. You've also got this case which was machined literally a few miles down the road from here to a few thousands of microns and then hardened. Um, so it's a watch we're very, very proud of. I love this watch because its distant cousin came out originally in 2007. It's actually a fusion of a couple of watches. One, the Alt 1P, um, which is still very much out there as a, as a flying chronograph, pilot's chronograph. But secondly, the, uh, the U251. DLC coated, um, there's almost this vintage loom, this P51 loom. And you've got this quite lovely uh, tinted crystal on the back, sapphire crystal. So it becomes a very, very stealthy but fun watch. And like its predecessor, you might see it in some rather venomous movie coming out later this year.